Since it's almost Christmas time, I thought I would be extra comfy in my really big, nice, very soft uh, onesie. And I have my coffee, and I have a cookie, and I thought I would decorate some Christmas bubbles, I think is how you say it. It's not how I say it in, in Norwegian. I learned that word last year, so I'm still not very good with it. Uh, but I bought a lot of stuff from Tiger and I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I bought and I'm going to see what I can make out of it. I think I might want to combine some watercolor and some modeling and a little different stuff. I have no idea actually. I just need to show you guys what I have and I need to sketch and to figure out what I will do with these bow bowls. Also this coffee is super sweet. All right, let me show you guys what I got. All right, today you're on my white table, which means we're doing arts and crafts, right? So I got a bunch of stuff. So let's see. I got some of this. This is all plastic. And I thought, well, I can tear this apart and I can do something with it. Just got some more of that. I got some of these because they were cute. And these are the ones I think of decorating. So they're like round plastic bubbles. Uh, one bigger than the other, and I thought I could do something fun with that. I also got some sequins to maybe play around with snow. I also got some fake snow. I got some thread. Because why not? Might use it. But I also got these, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. But I really don't like the art. Uh, but it's like two sheets of plastic stuck together and it has like a switch Wait, a switch on the back and they glow so I'm like maybe I can do something fun with this I can either take this off and put it on these or I can try and pry open the- ooh! I could actually very easily pry open the glass and put it in my own art so I'm gonna see what I can do with that that's my little haul I think uh, this cost me uh, 10 pounds total to buy all of this and I'm probably going to use some of my uh, watercolor and other stuff to maybe make some extra art but I have an idea sorry I was sitting down there um, I have an idea where I will do one of these bubbles will be snowy and one will be like green and red like the, with these things and I think that would be the big one because these are so big <laughs> And I might put Nissi in then, that one. But I am not sure. We'll have to see what we can come up with. So I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna sketch a little bit and see what I can do with these. I'm actually really curious if, to see if I can pry these open. <laughs> Wait. So I can very, very easily open it. Oh, and the art is on a plastic sheet. Which means I should be able to maybe I was I thought these two were glued so that's very good oh you know what if I unscrew these two screws I'm actually guessing they'll come apart cool I think it's the same thing with this then that's so good I thought they were glued that means they're so much easier to disassemble and I can actually put them in my decoration. This is. Do you think this is the same size as this? <gasps> I can put it inside the bobo. I can put it inside it. Wait. Oh no! Don't tell me it doesn't work. So I have this that I got from a friend last year with tiny, tiny lights. And I can take off these. And I can use this. Wait, let me get batteries. Ooh! Okay, I'll work with that. That's really bright on camera. <laughs> it looks like a glowing bulb. <laughs> cool! Okay, so we have two different lights we can use for the bubbles. Which makes me very excited! Let's get my sketchbook. And... Let's do some sketching. So my original idea was actually just to have like paper, so you know like a paper craft kind of scene where if you see the bobo from the top and this is the middle, 
there's like layers of paper kind of going this way or this way or going like that and then that way but now that I got all this decoration I'm kind of interested in doing something more than that <laughs> especially with the lights and everything for the small one I know I want to fill it up like this much with like snow and sequins that I got and then we can make trees we can make trees with the bigger one of these so we can dip that with glue in the snow so we can make two trees like that and then there will be like snow and it will be glowing because of the thing should I model a creature or should I just should I draw it and or paint it and put it in like the glass bit? Because I can I can model it in clay, and then that will be in there. Actually, I think having it flat might be better for this one. So for this one, I did really want to make a, an indoor environment. And what I can do is, I can kind of use this brown thread to glue up and down the wall in the back and make that into like, it looks like a wall. Like a, like a wooden wall is what I mean. And then, I kind of want all my decorations to kind of go in a circle. And now I can weave that in with the lights. And maybe some more of the, the other colored threads. Just looking at what I have and trying to figure out what I can do. I think I'm going to watercolor it. I don't think I want to model it because I feel like it's going to look cheap. So I think better to do a watercolor cutout. And kind of make a little bit of a scene still. Like of what I talked about here. So I can make... I was thinking I could use Nissa because I've used him before. So it would be like paper art, but not paper art. This will be in the middle though. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like I just need to do it. At least start with the decoration and see how it looks. <laughs> I said I was going to sketch more, but I think, I think this is more of a let's just do it video. Let's just do it. Who cares if it's messed up in the end, hey? So if I take this half, this is all plastic by the way. I wish it was glass, but they didn't have that at Tiger and it would probably be more expensive if I did good glass ones. Okay. Ooh, should I go in a circle or up and down? You know what? I'm sitting here and I'm drinking my coffee and I'm watching joy -san's vlogs. And I'm thinking, why am I not just needle felting the characters? I can needle felt. That would be so cute in a little bobo. Ha ha ha. So I'm, I am going to start with like covering this and this, but I need to... Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to do some needle felting. Because <laughs> it'll just fit better than watercolor it. And that's what... I haven't done needle felting in a while. I am planning on doing an ex another doll, a winter themed doll, but right now... By the way, if you haven't checked out joy -san's vlogs before, she's absolutely amazing. Wait, let me show you guys. Incredible, and I love her vlogs, and she, her style is just so unique and beautiful, and all of this is so, like original art you can buy, and she's doing like a pre-order for her art book that's absolutely gorgeous. Because I love your art, and I need people to love it too, so... Let's get back to this. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. <laughs> I just realized. Um, okay. I think maybe. This table is not very clean, is it? Could go swirl this around before I start having trouble. <laughs> I think, yeah, after every little swirl, I'm gonna put some glue on. This is gonna be the side that sticks into the 
tree, so it won't matter that much how it looks. I'm more concerned with one side. <laughs> Just like Canadian shipping, I need to price it at this point, but it will include everything in the $25 this February. I'll, I'll enact the changes in 2019, but right now it's still all the same. Alright, so <laughs> that took a while and I didn't even like do it right, so it's a little bit buckled. I decided to glue it onto like a felt piece so that it doesn't look absolutely horrible from the back. Uh, it did make it a little bit less bendable, so as you can see it doesn't reach all the way to the end. Uh, which is kind of sad, but I don't really mind. I like how cozy it looks right now, so I am going to make a little cave for some kind of a little animal and I'll felt the animal and I'll put it here uh, but for now I think I need to make a squirrel thing it just looks like a little little cute like home and I want to do that so I'm gonna get these off this branch and I'll see which ones I want to use for the trees in the other one and then um how I can kind of braid it into each other for this. <laughs> also, I'm watching Matilda in the background and I get like, I watched it when I was super young. And um, I'm really having a lot of fun just listening to <laughs> a movie I enjoyed when I was younger. Okay, and we have the berries here as well, which is really nice. Maybe I could... So I split this one up, it's all kind of falling apart, but I don't really, it looks like a branch. Put that as a guide where I'm going to put, so that fits in there. And maybe I then can braid these around a little bit. Okay, but I need to figure out which ones I can use in this. These two. I'll put that over here. Then somehow we'll have to glue this around like that. And I guess I can just do whatever I want and then I'm gonna felt something to put here. And we can also use these ones. And the berries. It'll be really cute. I think I'm I'm really looking forward to it. And we have to remember to put somehow put the lights in there as well. Because it's gonna be real cute. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Uh, this is gonna be fast forward with some nice music because or else it is gonna be too long. So, enjoy.
<laughs> All right, so I I decorated like a little nice wreath, 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 wreath. I don't know how you say it around, and I think later I'm, I am going to put more pieces more in front so they go into the bowl. But right now, when I turn on the light, it looks super cozy. So it'll be perfect with a little character sitting here. Look how nice. See, this is why I wanted to just do it because I knew that if I didn't and I've planned it out too much, it would probably not go as well uh, because I was expecting to have more space and I don't. So I'll have to work with what I have. And this is super, super cute. I think I think we're going to needle felt something in here. <laughs> I'm really, really happy. It's really messy here now. <laughs> I knew it was going to get messy. Hmm, it's tricky because I want to make something cute. I like this little guy. I was inspired by this art um, of some owls and I thought the shape was really cute. So I'll do some of that and I think, I think it's cute. So I'm going to find some wool and I'm going to find some needles and we're going to needle felt. Yay! Got my needles here. Probably gonna cover this part with something, berries or something. There we go. Luckily, this is very small, so it shouldn't take too long. All right, I just finished the first one and I think it looks better in person than what you guys are seeing But it's like it's pretty cute like you have all the little things here And then you have the little creature and then when you turn it on You can see even even better. It looks better in person than on the camera, but I'll get some nice shots later and um, Now I have to do the other one. And I think I'm gonna make a similar creature but um, white and blue, and I'll put them in here. And the plan for this one is to like glue on these, dip that in fake snow, and have the bottom of this be snow. And I also need to figure out how to get the plastic image of this out because I want to use this and put it on top somehow. That is very important, so it can be like glowy as well, but blue light. So I'm gonna go find a screwdriver and we're gonna do that. Will that work? I might have to take this one out. <gasps> Oops. Well, I got these out. <laughs> Don't know what I broke. This is still working. 
Okay, cool. So I just ruined the glue a little bit. So this is a little pack that makes the lights glow. Just without the the art. It's visuals and plastic, which is very convenient. Should I put hmm. and I'm more stressed about getting it back together <laughs> than Ooh. Okay, I think I got it back together, maybe? I have to not talk too soon. Okay. I think I managed it. <laughs> that was a uh, concentration required. Look at it though, it's so sweet. Even though it's like lots of scratches everywhere, but that's okay. The thing is, I could actually <laughs> take it apart and fix whatever I need. At this point, I actually stopped talking, so I'm gonna do a little voiceover here before the end of the video, just to explain a little bit what I did and not just leave you guys in the dark. So I actually ended up taking apart the little light Christmas bulb thing and take off the silver part of it. And I had to shave down the sides of the little bubble to be able to fit it because it had the weird little technological things that needed to fit. Uh, but I didn't actually manage to fit it into the bubble, and it looks pretty smooth, except for the big bulky silvery thing at the top. Next, I took my little branches or plastic barnacles, I guess you can call them, and I put some glue on them and I dipped them in my uh, fake snow, which actually did not look as good as I would hope. I wanted maybe to use some white powder instead, uh, but I didn't have that on hand so I just went with what I had and glued some PVA glue onto the branches and dipped it. And they look pretty cool! I ended up also um, gluing on some sequins and some of the berries from the little uh, ornament thing and it made them look even better. To fill the bow bulb with snow, I just took the one side and filled it with the fake snow and then put in a lot of sequins and a lot of other things just to fill it up a little bit more sparkly, not just the fake snow. And I moved on to making the other little creature. For the little critter, I actually just did it the same way I did it the first time. It's pretty cut up and roughly shown, but it is pretty straightforward. You just felt a little ball and you add little details. And I actually ended up using a marker instead of felting the black eyes and mouth because it's so finicky with so little walls, so it looked actually better just uh, putting some marker on and felting on top of the marker to make it seem like it was kind of dented into the wool and I was kind of pleased with that and also as well it's going to be seen from a distance it's going to be a bubble around it so nobody's really going to be able to tell or touch it When it came to assembling the whole thing, I just glued it in the little critter, the other little tree, and I poured in some more snow on that side and some more sequins, and very very carefully, without tipping it too much, I managed to close the whole thing without spilling the snow. And that was it! Thank you guys so much for watching my little experiment trying to fill these bubbles with kind of cheap material, I think. Uh, I had a lot of fun, spent the whole day, kind of got me in the Christmas mood and I'm now really really looking forward to a week of just holiday and relaxing. All the videos coming up next Friday and then the Friday after that are already pre-recorded, so don't be weirded out by details not matching up if there's something happening. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a lovely Christmas and just relaxing and having food and eating a lot of sweets. That's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, I will see you guys next year. Bye bye.